All right, here we go. Question number 25 from our 0314 homework number six in my lab math. And the instructions say express in terms of I. So since we have a negative under a square root, that negative can be pulled out front. And that's where I comes from. OK, and that's not bad grammar. So this is showing the shortcut how you can take a negative out front and it turns into I and that is when you have a square root that's an index of two okay and then we can work on the 28 well it turns out that 28 does not square root nicely and so we're going to break it down into factors where one of the factors will square root so we've got our I out front 28 can be written as 4 times 7 and the square root of 4 is 2. So we can bring the 4 out, but you have to square root it. Okay? The 7 is going to be left over. And my final answer is 2i square root of 7. Or you can write it as 2 square root of 7i. Just be sure that the i is not under the square root. This is actually uh better okay this actually makes me happy because this is closer to standard form okay so this is correct and this is better if you input the answer like this it's not wrong it's just not right okay this needs to be the way we input the answer all right so here we go checking the answer oh before i check it though with my lab math Let's try the calculator. Let's see if the Casio class whiz will do this problem for us. So remember, we need to go to the menu and select complex mode. And square root of negative 28. Bam! Look at that. And it even gives the I at the back like we like it. All right, here we go. We've got square root. I'm sorry, we've got two square root of 7 don't forget to move out from under the square root and put the i man i hope that was helpful if you have any questions or comments feel free to put those in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching